Hey, hey, hello. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is your girl DM, and I'm back with another pick a card that is requested. You guys voted a lot on this uh, reading. Uh, who will be your going to date next? Your next uh, relationship? Your new love? You can say who is coming towards you? Who is coming in your way romantically? Everything, all detail about that person. So that's why I'm just, uh, you know. Uh, putting the decks here okay not the cards but definitely i will use my oracles cards to give you the more detail about this person and i will also use the charms because you guys love it uh, so why not okay so who is coming towards you i will ask uh, you know the question about it i will cover these questions in each deck in each group uh, question number one is who is coming towards you their personality number two why they are coming and what are they bringing in your life? Number three, what's going to happen next in this relationship? It will be long term and how will be when you will be together. And the fourth is definitely the charms that will give the more detail about this person. Anything about this person that will give you clues about this person. Okay, so keep an open mind. It could be the same person coming in your way with a new beginning or this could be totally brand new person is coming in your way. Um, as I always say, it's a general reading. So just take what resonates with you. Uh, you can get a personal reading from me and you can book a personal reading um, description box all the detail of a personal reading and contact me on my email address you can also follow me on instagram for more fun um, so yeah there's a three groups in front of you with these three decks one two and three choose intuitively whatever the pile or whatever the sorry deck or group is calling you i will see you on your reading so let's start the magic hello group number one the people who choose this group let's find out and figure it out the theme of your relationship with this person okay what will be the romantic theme um with this person we have the sexual freedom and then we have the sacred a woman okay so a lot of you um you have been single for a long time you never ex you did not experience uh true love yet okay or maybe you never experienced this sexual relationship with anyone sexual intimacy i would say so this relationship is definitely going to you are going to explore your um sexuality with this person even though you're a male watching this video you're going to experience a lot of sexuality you there will be a sexual freedom for both of you you will be like wow you find the right person for you that you can feel comfortable with sexually with your bodies um, if for a lot of you maybe you have insecurities about your body insecurities about uh, your figure especially if you have a your you know if you're a woman definitely you have some insecurities about your boobs your i uh, like it's, it's it's just weak or it's just not good especially or maybe it's too much it's large so so definitely it's huge or something there's definitely some areas of your body um, maybe you're curvy maybe you're weak you're small we all have insecurities in our own way there is no uh, definitely um, judgment here and there's no obviously gender specific reading here this is free for everyone okay but I'm, I'm talking about your insecurities so you're going to experience this sexual freedom especially with this person and you have been maybe never experienced this sexual freedom or sexual intimacy with anyone that you're going to experience with this person the sacred women also talk about maybe a lot of you are in your 40s 50s and 60s and you're like wow really i'm going to be in relationship so yes you are going to be in a very romantic and intimate relationship with this person um okay i'm also getting like a lot of you you are working on your heart chakra right now you're trying to open your heart again for love or you need to work on your heart chakra because when this person will come you need to be not judgmental because i'm seeing that um there is like this is a divine bringing you guys together so this person is entering in your life for a purpose okay a lot of you maybe you already know this person but it's like um you need to basically free yourself from this um this mindset if like you're really fixated on something on your mind that you need to free yourself especially uh, sexual freedom so i'm using my this astrology dies that will give more idea about this person everything about this person okay let's see let's see please tell me about the group number one person personality and everything anything that we would to know about astrologically okay okay so we have the sixth house this is definitely virgo so they could have a virgo in their chart i feel like most of you you are the virgo moment watching this video okay virgo sixth house and then we have jupiter so you maybe have virgo uh, jupiter or sixth house jupiter okay and the next we have this wow this is definitely virgo so a lot of virgo here so oh i can understand now why you are sacred why you never experienced this um 
true love or sexual intimacy or sexual freedom with anyone so if you have a uh, you know jupiter in sixth house um, especially this person has it this person is really serving in other people's always be in the service always being reserved always maybe getting education um they, they have been in a service of uh, in the field of this type of thing like they're always working 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 on themselves working with people's working with others they don't have a time to do sex or being in a romantic relationship or this could be your energy um i'm also getting like some of you you have this insecurities like really you're really analytical you're skeptical you're being um critical with yourself and with other people so that's why not other people's with yourself that's why you have some insecurities in you that is really haunting you so if you have a sixth house jupiter so i feel that you need to free yourself be optimistic about meeting other people that strangers i would say um, i'm also getting like you need to date out of your comfort zone also i'm getting here because with the being virgo with the jupiter here it's like you need to be optimistic uh, for love and romance now let's see who is this person coming in your way so we have the tower yeah the mars energy is very strong here it's uh, it's uh, aries or scorpio so let's see who is this person For this group you need to keep an open mind for love you need to open your mind you need to open and be optimistic about and trying new things new ideas you may be limited in your thoughts you may be skeptical you may be want relationship that is too perfect no it's not or maybe you have this insecurity like that your partner will judge you somehow about your bodies or about your something about you is like really you are you're not believing on yourself wow we have the lovers gemini energy back to back we have two major arcana so this will be a very major and huge um i would say a specific relationship for you uh yes the next is we have the six of pentacles yeah the six of pentacles is also talking about uh we have six six so a lot of sixes you so you may be seeing six six a lot um six is the number of harmony balance we have the four of swords yeah a lot of you you are in the process of healing you definitely never experienced this true love i would say and we have eight of swords this is you you need to get out of your head it's like you're really skeptical you're really uh, critical with yourself you're really over analytical you maybe overthink a lot you need a break you need to go to spa definitely you need a healing you need to keep calm and just uh, i would say keep calm your mind i would say that you need to keep calm <sighs> six of swords you really need to heal yourself you need to break it's like you overthink a lot you think a lot about the person about the relationships and everything all the tower you need to break down this um this pattern that you're dealing with in relationships i would say because this is the romance that you maybe it's like a, another opportunity for you this is a choice for you i feel here like you really want to be in this relationship with this person or you're going to again reject this because of your insecurities because of your fears of intimacy of sexual things because of your i don't know whatever your insecurity is about you it's like really you need to work on your insecurities you need to break down some patterns to deal with the relationships six of pentacles you need to find your balance because some lot of you you're going to meet this person through your work or through some type of healing work this could be someone who is a healy um healing in reiki master or some type of spa that you're going to meet this person but it's talking about all about you but this is that person that you're going to experience true love that you never experience it's a sacred okay for this person i'm picking up here so i will put it here so you can see that this person personality okay more about this person this person is definitely will be very optimistic this person will be very um I would say um, single for a long time like you i would say um, this person could have a also insecurities like you it's like a, you are a mirror of each other i'm getting like you will be the mirror of each other from this the lovers too it's like you will be the mirror of each other somehow you are the same but you're different two peoples in a different uh, bodies but you are the same soul so this could be a twin flame connection for a lot of you you're going to be in union with your uh, twin flame you will be in a sexual uh, or sacred union with your twin flame a lot of you it will happen unexpectedly to be honest okay and uh, let's see who is coming towards your life next relationship who's you are going to date next ten of pentacles yeah a lot of abundance i'm seeing this person has a lot of money they're wealthy they're rich and with this jupiter in sixth house this person is definitely have enough money or from her inheritance or they could be work they could be entrepreneur they could be in the field of you know 
helping other peoples or in some type of um, NGOs, organizations. Um, they could be activists or activists in the society to working for other peoples, okay, for their rights or something. Um, you know, for example, I'm giving you like LGBT community. They could be working for this this actively in this, um, yeah. Uh, for some of you, this person could own their own business, like they could be have their own restaurant, their gym. So they're working for that, okay? Uh, Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. This person has good enough money. If you are worried about money, this person has it money. Okay, they have their own money. They have their own house. This person also have a saved saving account, I'm saying. They definitely have some saving account. This person could be a Capricorn. Um, I'm getting Gemini. I'm getting Aries and Scorpio. I'm also getting a lot of air, but this is from you. You may be an air sign. You are more, um, yeah, three of swords. A lot of you, you are coming out of a breaking relationship. That's why it's really hard for you to open for new love again. But for others of you, this could be someone that you already know. You're going through right now in a no contact situation and you're stuck because of some family issues or because of your breakup with this person, the son. So this could be your uh, soulmate or soul partner. Okay, to be the three of swords, I feel that a lot of you, you need to heal yourself to bring this new person into your life. Don't repeat the same pattern I'm hearing. Don't repeat the same pattern with the tower. You need to let the past go. You need to let the let change your let yourself change. This time, uh, be open minded for love. Okay, we have the three of wands, a lot of threes and six in this reading. So you could be seeing a lot of threes and six. Three is definitely talking about talking with the higher self, listening to your intuition, listening to your higher guides or the angels. And six is also a number of harmony and balance, especially in love. So you need to listen to your guides, your intuitions, your guts, feelings and everything that you believe on higher sources for this love that are coming in your, lay, in your life. You have three of cups. So you may be seeing a lot of threes. So some of you, this could be a third party situation, to be honest, if you already know this person. Jupiter is also I'm seeing that in, in a woman a chart it's a it's, it's a few it's a it's a partner it's, it's a husband so some of you this could be your ex-husband coming back or um are you maybe in separation with this person because of your family your husband is coming back to you for a union because sacred is like you have been waiting for this person for a long time yes you have been praying you have been manifesting and finally it's, it's blossoming we have the queen of swords yeah a lot of you you may be a divorced woman okay you may be a divorced woman you may be a divorced woman. And this could be your ex, definitely someone that you're not in a contact with. Uh, this could be you. You have been heartbroken a lot in the past. Okay, you have been heartbroken a lot in the past uh, because of your experience in the love. I feel like you have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini in your chart, especially. You are the air sign watching this video. And whoever this person is coming in your way, they could be Capricorn, they could be Aries, they could be Scorpio. I'm also getting Virgo energy very strong here and Sagittarius vibe from this person. Um, for a once, yeah, you're going to get married with this person for a lot of you. Or this could be someone who is your ex-husband coming back to you for reconciliation or reunion. Again, if it's not your ex-husband or wife, the another scenario is 11-11, your twin flame. What I told you, sacred woman, you have been praying, you have been manifesting, and you and with the lovers and with this 11-11, definitely it's your soulmate and twin flame. It's like you're the mirrors of each other. You definitely are mirrors. So after this healing, after this breakup and separation, you're going to come into union with your partner. And this time it's, it's a solid union because you have been not in a contact with. This is someone who hurt you, maybe maybe cheated onto you or break your heart. But I would say it's it's a no contact situation or some type of situation shape, I would say. It's going to be in union. Finally, it will be, it's, it's like on the ground with this person so let's see more about this relationship yeah so we have the finances and career you're going to meet this person through that or uh, there could be important uh, uh, role here with the finances and career maybe this person is working on their finances and career that's why they were not there for you if you know this person already make the effort yeah a lot of you this person if your ex-husband or wife they're going to make the effort because of the children yeah this person is going to make the effort or you also need to make the effort, please. You may be the person you always work on your finances and career and you are this woman now. Like you're, you're closed off emotionally that you need to open your heart to make the effort for this new bring, uh, this new beautiful blessing that is coming in your way. Give your relationship a chance. Yes, yes. A lot of you, this is someone from your past is returning for reconciliation. Uh, so keep an open mind. I feel that you're really waiting for this person with a sacred woman. 
Yeah, you really. And finally, it's going to be official with the sexual freedom. Are you going to feel it? You're going to experience this love that you never experienced. I'm feeling with the give you a relationship and chance also. This could be someone that, like, you need to give this relationship a chance because you may be the single mother, you may be the divorced woman, and you have been struggling for a long time for relationships, and you never find your true love. So universe is telling, no, you need to trust this person and give this relationship a chance, okay? Now, anything else I can pick up? Let's see. So let's see. Uh... Who could be this person? Anything else? I can get deep into this with this person energy. Then that will give you the clue about this person. So we have the mature man, number five. Important for number five. This could be someone who's really mature or older than you. Are they coming again as a mature? We have number 26, great fortune. Yeah, this person is bringing a lot of great fortune. I feel this person has the money with the ten of pentacles and great fortune. Yeah, this person is... Uh, definitely coming to give you this so let's see what is the angel messages for you in this relationship what is the spirit is guiding you for this for this reading okay for this person whoever is entering in your life we have romance wow yeah definitely you're going to experience romance with this person this person will be very romantic i feel here they could be older than you okay or you will be the mature. I feel that you both will be mature. For some of you, I feel this relationship is very mature. Like really, you, it's like it's finally coming in a mature age, friendship. So a lot of you may be going through, meet this person through finances and career or your friendship. Yeah, someone may be going to introduce you or you are going to be friend. This could be someone that is already in your, in your friend circle or you know this person is your friend and you're going to date this person. A lot of you, you may be going to meet this person through study, friendship. I'm hearing... So, yes, now let's see from the charms I can get from this person. Anything else? Okay. So this person could name SK, KS. Number one is important. Uh, we have the love jar. So definitely a lot of you, this is your, like your dream come true. You have been praying, you have been manifesting. This person is bringing a lot of love and romance because we have the flower. Yes. Some of you, you have, uh, this could be, you have been virgin maybe. And finally, you're going to experience true love. This is like wheel is turning in your favor. Finally, time is changing. We have this angel. Look at this. This could be a Scorpio. This could be rebirth of a relationship, I feel here, because it's a blessing from the universe. Or this could be rebirth of yours. Like you need to stop the pattern and deal with the new things. We have the um, fish here. So it could be a Pisces that you're connecting with. Fish is also maybe you have a baby. Okay, you may be a single mom, you maybe have a one, one kid, or maybe this person has it. You're safe with me. So this person, you will feel the safe with this person. Okay, this person is here for a long term, okay? We have the unicorn and with this love jar, definitely it's a magical love. It's a fantasy. It's a dream that you have been praying. Some of you, definitely a lot of you may be putting the love spell or magic and love jar. Like you were definitely putting your, um, you know, like what type of person you want. You were definitely doing some law of attraction. Uh, toward this person to attract this person so we have this camera so a lot of you maybe this person could be a photographer they could be watching your pictures you will share a lot of pictures or some of you you're going to meet this person through social media so we have these two wedding rings here one is the male and whether is a female so yeah some of you this is like a long term this is your marriage partner coming in your way you're going to get married with this person i would say yeah, it's a long term. It's a long being. It's a long time that you have been waiting for this this commitment. This could be a committed person. They will commit to you. This will be a long term, or this could be a marriage. Whatever you believe. This could be a E. So this person could have E or something. You know, S K E. We have the spoon. So this person could be a foodie, or you're going to meet this person through restaurant or something with a spoon here. We have the heart, but this is also stratoscope. So this person could be a doctor, especially a heart surgeon or heart doctor. Okay. Uh, I also feel like this person will heal your heart if you have any trauma. Yeah, we have this red uh, stone here. So you need to open your base chakra. You need to open for love. You need to. Uh, this person will bring a lot of, I feel here, money and abundance in your life, to be honest. This person is really abundant. Okay, so that's your reading. Give the thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number two. The people who choose this uh, group and this deck, let's see. Who are you going to date next? Your next relationship? Um, this will be the solid theme of your relationship with this person, basically. And I will also, you know, 
throw the dice to tell about this person. This is astrological dice that will tell more about this person, okay? I will do it in a minute. So let's see the theme of this relationship. We have the distorted masculine and then we have the rainbow reviver, okay? Uh, this person could be in a bank or police. I'm also getting like this person could be a corrupt person, like they... They could be a thief or they could be were in jail. Or right now, they may be in jail right now that you're dealing with someone. But this person is somehow is, uh, is, is distorted masculine. There's something about this person is like they're not a divine masculine. They're distorted. So you're going to deal with this person who is already broken. I know a lot of people will say, oh my God, bullshit. I don't want to accept this person who's already broken. And uh, I don't want to deal with this shit or this pig. <laughs> who's already like um, doing with this shit okay so a lot of you will say that okay i don't want to deal with this motherfucker who has just uh they need to solve their own shit <laughs> i understand i mean i'm feeling almost this person is going through um it's like this person is going through their um i'm seeing the sun here you you're not seeing the sun here but i'm seeing the sun here this person is almost on the way to meet you because i'm seeing with this rainbow reviver you are this rainbow reviver that they want okay you maybe for a lot of you are uh, watching this video you maybe have single okay like this could be your first relationship or being you know in a serious relationship is the first time i would say physically you know this will be a first relationship for you for a lot of you i would say this is like you have been uh you recently maybe free yourself from someone and you'll be like no another toxic person another karmic relationship i don't want to deal with this shit but trust me this person is your masculine they are distorted right now Look at this. They are distorted masculine, but the sun is the divine masculine, right? The sun. So they're almost there to their way. Uh, they're trying to heal themselves. They're trying to work on their abundance. They're trying to find out their life purpose. They could be right now struggling. They could be, uh, I, I would say financially, they're also struggling. I'm seeing here for a lot of you, they have a lot of responsibilities. Um, you know uh on their shoulder because of their family because of their other things there th there's a lot of things going on in this person's life okay right now so whoever this person is they definitely have some issues um that but you are this 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 divine feminine here with this rainbow reviver uh, some of you this could be a rainbow uh relationship you you are from rainbow tribe does not matter but i feel like this is you the divine feminine this is you shining glowing and you know maybe working on this and for a lot of you i, f I would say you are saying that finally I'm free I'm free from any bullshit or any relationship and here this person is coming for a lot of you you will not be with this person to be honest like you will be like no 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 but trust me this person is <laughs> I don't know I feel like somehow this person does not have a time they're feeling like they're they're they don't have a time they need to hurry they need, they need to hurry up they need to rush in into your life if you know this person already or they could be someone like they feel like they, there's a lot of things going on in their life and they feel like they don't have a time to deal with a lot of things and chicks let's see i also feel like this person could be if they're going through some legal matter they there's a time is you know uh, running very fast for them because there's a court time like they're like oh my god the time is coming fast i have to deal with it i have to collect this money i have to save this money i have to work on for money i have to you know find this and find the proofs or something this is like definitely so let's see Let's see this person. Please tell me about group number two person that they're going to date next or their next relationship will be with this person. Let's see. Who will be that person? Oh my God. So we have the sixth house. Everyone is getting sixth house, okay? And we have the Jupiter. So this person could have a sixth house Jupiter or maybe you have it. So you're going to attract this person. Um, we have also this is Leo oh ooh, ooh. if i am not wrong what is this they could be capricorn yeah it looked like a capricorn yeah capricorn sorry it's not leo it's capricorn so yes so this person could have uh, jupiter in capricorn or virgo or you will be the couple of capricorn or virgo by the way Okay, so you're going to meet this person through your work and business, our, our daily routine. Obviously, if you are working with in banking, uh, 
if you're working with bank you're going in a bank or going to bank like saving money or something you're going to meet this person there or you're going to meet this person through some type of your cases like police or this could be a lawyer or judge this could be a gym person where you go to work you're going to meet this person in your daily routine and daily work wherever you do for your daily living and business okay and this could be someone who is um if you are the lawyer if you are in the police and if you are the bank in a bank or you are the doctor if you are the in a medical field this person will come to you okay if you are in this from this fields but if you're not you are go you are going to meet this person through some type of daily business that you need to do you need to f figure it out okay now i feel with the sixth house this person is definitely yeah they they have some serious issues with their finances are they right now going through or stuck or some type of issues uh, with this jupiter energy this person is very optimistic i'm also getting sagittarius vibe from this person they could be sagittarius they could be leo virgo or capricorn uh, this person is very optimistic this person is adventurous uh, this person is highly educated they have a professional degree let me tell you this is a professional degree obviously when you're banking when you're bank in a bank when you're in a medical field when you are police you're military uh this person has definitely professional degree uh this person always learn a lot of things but they could be going through right now is a rough time does not have to be their corrupt or their uh, their their thief or somehow uh they're, they're going through a rough time right now financially they could be trying to change their job, trying to change something. They're trying to stable their finances with this Capricorn energy. Um, this could be someone who is really highly responsible, hardworking with a Capricorn energy. This person has a very busy lifestyle. Definitely. They have a very busy uh, working job, okay, wherever they do. And they have a very busy lifestyle. Wow, the hangman. So they could be Pisces. This person is hanging there. They're stuck in some type of energy, I would say. It's like your relationship will be with this person delay. It will be very slow moving. So we have the two of a pentacles. Yeah, this will be lying. <laughs> okay, I want to show you. Look at this. This person is making the effort and you're like, ah, come on, get out of my way. What are you doing? So they will be very into you, I feel here. Look at this. They will be into you. They will make the effort. But you will be not interested or you will be not sure. They will be like, nah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. You know, you will stop this person. You will be like, no, I'm not interested. So two of pentacles and with a hangman. So yeah, some of you, you know this person from a childhood. This could be your child teacher, by the way. Or some type of children involved here that you're going to meet this person. You will be a teacher maybe and then you're going to meet this person. With these children here, this person could have children already. Like they could be single parents or you could be. Wow, we have the chariot. A lot of movements here. So cancer energy here. Cancer and Pisces couple you could be. So, and we have the death. No, it's not death. It's, 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 it's devil. Capricorn. Strongly Capricorn here. Wow. So this will be a very yeah i would say this is more likely a karmic situation or karmic relationship that is coming in your way i know a lot of you will be like hold on so that's why you will be not interested maybe i'm seeing with the chariot a lot of you are going to meet this person through some type of business meeting or traveling i feel that you are you are this 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 um you are this temptation for this person like they really you're really seductive in this person way like they they think you like you are the beautiful like they 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 will be almost obsessed with you like they will they just want to come towards you because you are this this rainbow reviver and they will be very very uh, blown away by your beauty by your charms and uh, and they will make a move they will come towards you they'll be like no i'm interested i'm just want to be with you and they will be stuck on you they will not leave you they will be very persistent to pursue you i'm hearing but I don't know. You will be like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So let's see more about this person. Wow. Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. I feel that this is like eventually after meeting this person, after getting to know this person, your heart will be open for this person. You will be slowly open your heart for this person. This could be a new love that is coming in your life. This is abundance. The dove is talking about spiritual love, I would say. Yeah. This will be a spiritual connection. This person will almost like with this devil and ace of cups they will be obsessed with you 
they will be they will be really really obsessed with your beauty like you they will be like you are this sweet temptation that they just want to eat and they just want to touch you and kiss you all the time look at this she's not interested but this person is like no i want you i want you only so somehow this person will be really really tempted by you so we have the strength leo energy and then we have the king of pentacles here is the daddy here is the daddy <laughs> some of you yeah, with the king of pentacles and with this uh, devil energy this person is really uh busy in making the money they're really busy they're really busy with the two of pentacles and king of pentacles and devil but you are this sweet temptation even though they're working or uh, they're on their work they will think about you and they may be already thinking about you to come come towards you if you know this person who i'm talking about okay so with the strength card leo energy again masculine energy so they will be very they will make a move they will make a um, they will find this courage to come towards you. They will be very, very persistent. I'm also seeing with this uh, strength energy, they will do anything to get you. They're not going to leave you. They're not. They will make a move. They will make a plan. They will make a, a you know, make a time for their from their schedule, their from their busy life to come to see you, to meet you, because this is what they want. There is a lot of things going on in this person's life right now, but they still want you. Okay. A lot of you, this person could be older than you. I'm picking up. There will be age gap, I would say. I'm also getting like some of you, this person could be working with the money, like they're going through some financial problem. But for others of you, this person has a lot of money. Like they're very wealthy. They're very rich. So they will give you a lot of gifts, I'm seeing here. They're, they will almost uh, try to attract you from their money. Like they will show up. They will show you. Like with this, with this King of Pentacles and the, the Strength card, they will show you. They will give you a lot of gifts. So you can open your heart for them. You can choose them. Okay? That's what I'm picking up here. So we have this um, Page of Swords. A lot of you, this person is spying on you on social media. Are you going to meet this person through talking or study or education? Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. Definitely some type of business matter, some type of legal matter or daily routine or work that you're going to meet this person. With this, with this, uh, with this um, Jupiter and Capricorn energy and King of Pentacles and Devil, I feel this person is really rich. They have a position, uh, like they're the boss. Like they could have a higher position in bank, police, military. They could be doctor or senior doctor. Like they have a really high status, I would say they have a position they have a high status so th this person has a very busy lifestyle and job but still they will hang on you they will spying on you they will try to make the effort try to talk with you okay because they want you you they want you you are this this sweet temptation that they want to get you like with, with this knight of swords yeah they will they will definitely persistent there will be age gap between you and this person but they will die like no 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 i want you I want you. This person could be born in, in a horse year because I'm seeing a lot of horses here. This person could be a Taurus because I'm seeing bull here. I'm seeing Leo, Taurus. Uh, I'm getting Capricorn, also Scorpio energy too here with the Pisces and Cancer too. Knight of Swords, this person will be very, like they will come with a plan to take action. They will be always there for you. This person could wear a lot of blues okay the office uh, setting like look at this this is like office setting they wear a lot of three-piece suits look at this king of swords so a lot of you maybe you have a choices or i told you like this could be a same gender sex relationship for a lot of you because i'm seeing it's a rainbow tribe so yeah i'm seeing that with this king of swords this person will be highly professional they will be very educated they will be mature they will be a they will be spying on you they will like you and they will not show up very soon but they will keep an eye on you maybe you will meet this person for some reason and after watching you they will be like wow who's she and who is he then then they will make a move towards you they will find this courage to come and tell you how do they feel for a lot of you you already know this person who i'm talking about but right now they're distorted they're not taking action they're not telling you what they are feeling but they are going to they're going to okay now let's see what are they bringing in your life what type of experience you will have with this person romantically oh my gosh there's a lot
for some of you, I feel like you may be struck right now on someone, you're waiting for someone, okay, and this is someone new that is coming in your way. So you maybe have a choice between two people, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like uh, there could be an air sign and art sign, and you have to choose between these two people, okay? Uh, like, you will be, and this person, new person will be persistent to pursue you, and you will be stuck on someone, you know, waiting from the past, and this person is detached. So you need to cut this person. Because you're always already waiting for a long time for the wrong person. So you need to free yourself to get this new person because they will be persistent to get you. So let's see. We have playfulness. Yeah, this is a romance. This is like playful energy. You will have a lot of romance and player energies with each other. You will flirt. You will have fun. You will talk a lot, I'm seeing. I'm almost seeing that you will be talking and texting, getting to know each other. Yes, this is someone new that you're going to talk and have fun. You will get to know each other very closely. You're getting closed uh, step by step. It's not like just falling in love first night, you know, like um, first meeting and you're just falling in love. No, you will be slowly but surely getting to know each other and falling in love with each other. Free yourself. Yeah, for a lot of you, you need to make yourself and surrender to the divine, to this love who is coming in your life. You definitely need to free yourself because true love, romance of a lifetime. So this could be a romance of a lifetime if you will uh, definitely miss the opportunity with this person. So let's see who is this person so I can get more about this person personality. Let's see. We have number 11, sudden wealth. What I told you, this person is wealthy. Number 11 is important. This person could be played in the casinos, clubs. They could be a gambler. This person has a lot of property, a lot of money. I told you, you could be seeing triple seven a lot and, and double one. Definitely sudden wealth. It's, it's just like divine timing. This person is meant to be in your life. They could be your divine counterpart with this 11 number. Okay, this could be definitely your divine counterpart. Are you going, you're going to meet this person through casino, pubs, clubs, okay, or some type of uh, gambling areas. Number five, mature man. Yeah, this person is mature. They're older than you. There will be age gap of five to 11 years I'm picking up here. Look at this, bottom of the deck, number 22, official person. This person is official. They could be from government. They work for the government with the officials, federal, federal, uh, you know, government or something. They're not from local. They, this person has a position, okay? Let me tell you. Now, let's see, what are they bringing? Any messages from the angels for you, for this relationship? So, we have the focus. Yeah, but it's came up reverse. So, it's mean that you're not focusing on this person. Yeah, you will be like, who is this person? Why? Why this person is coming? What are their intentions? So you maybe you you maybe your focus is somewhere else. As I told, you may be looking at past. You may be waiting for someone, and you're wasting your time. And here is this person coming in your life. Next is nature. Yeah, so this person will be a nature lover. They will be humanitarian. Are you? Are you need to spend your time with nature to heal yourself or meditate? Okay. Now let's see. From Trumps. Okay, so this person is going to express a lot of love to you. They will, their love language will be talking to you and expressing their love to you. Yeah, this person is definitely all about work, work, work. They have a strong Capricorn and Jupiter. They are really abundant in money and business and work. They could be a businessman or entrepreneur. This person is really abundant. Are you going to meet this person through work? So, I don't know, you are hitting the lottery or what? So, we have this uh, this unicorn. Yeah, it's like, you will not believe this. You will be like, wow, is this too good to be true? So, But universe is telling you, trust your intuition. Please trust your intuition. We have um, this uh, photograph, this, this sorry, camera. So, this person could be watching your pictures. You will share each other pictures. This could be a long-distance relationship. That's why. Wow, we have the Saturn. I mean, this is your long-term partner. This is someone you're going to marry or going to commit to, Saturn. This is someone is a reward because we have the Jupiter and Saturn. It's like a reward of your patience, reward of your struggle. This could be your husband, by the way. Yeah, long term with the Jupiter and Saturn. This is someone who is your husband. But there will be issues at first, obviously. In every relationship it is. So we have this uh, ring here. So you're going to commit or marry this person. We have this blue stone hair so this person is definitely coming in the in the divine timing this is like spirit is guiding this person again with the blue is anything related with the blue 
This person could have favorite color blue. We have the police. Definitely this person could be from military. They could be artist, singer, musician with this guitar. There could be love music. This person could be, you'll meet this person through London, some type of, you know, this London bus or something. Memories of the London bus or this person could be love to go London or you're going to meet this person in London or something. But this is also uh, definitely a sign here. We have the heart here and with this here, this person is definitely bringing love in your life. Nothing but love, abundance. So this person will be introvert. At first, they will shy. They will, I definitely feel they will observe you. Then they will make a move. A lot of you, you may be, oh, yeah, you're going to meet this person in casino, clubs. I don't know, strips, clubs or what. Look at these high heels. So a lot of you, you may be a model, okay, or you, you may be an artist and you're going to meet this person. With these high heels, this person will also give you a lot of gifts. I'm picking up, especially your heels. <clears throat> we have you are safe with me. So yeah, you will be safe with this person. We have this hamsa. So yeah, this is like a universe is bringing this person into your life. It's spiritual, but it's it's a divinely guided relationship. Wow. You're, you're, you're definitely getting the high jackpot, okay, with this person. You're winning the jackpot. I don't know. We also have this S. Or this is like a Superman thing here. Anything with a Superman, okay. It's, this will be a Superman for you, superhero, to be honest. Like, you will not believe it. Like, this is your superhero. This person could be named start with S or something, okay. So that's your reading. Give the thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, pile number three, the people who choose this group and this deck. So this is your reading. Who will you date next? Who will be your next relationship? Everything, every detail about this person, okay? So this will tell the theme about this person and this relationship with you. What are they, what is the theme of this relationship will be? I will also use this, throw this uh, astrology dice, okay? And that will tell more about this person, detail, anything. So let's see. Theme of this, wow, chivalry. And then we have boundaries. Oh, goodness. I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing a lot of birds and animals. So this person could be an animal lover. They could be humanitarian. Uh, this person will be chivalry. Wow, they will give you a lot of gifts. And you will be like, what? What do you want from me? So you will make some boundaries with this person at first. Well, I don't know why. You'll be like, what is this person's intentions? You will definitely will be skeptical about this person. Their intentions, their feelings, their thoughts, everything. You'll be skeptical. You'll be not sure about it at first because your heart, I'm, I'm almost saying your heart will be closed because it's not red. It's just gray and yeah, blue. You may be right now healing. Are you, you, this person will enter in your life when you are in the process of healing. You're trying to open your heart, making the boundaries uh, with the relationships. And this person will be very shivery. I feel this person will bring a lot of flowers to you and take you out, like showing you like, hey, look at this. Um, I got this new animal. I got this new bird. I just, I want to show you something. Like they will bring you a lot of things. They will definitely, it's like they will bring the tickets and they will tell you like, let's go, let's go have fun. And you will be like, and what does this person wants from you? Like you will be really judging this person. I'm saying here, you especially, feminine energy. But you can switch the roles here, masculine and feminine. So this person could have a mustache. Um, okay, and little bit beard. I feel this person will have a golden or I would say um, blonde hair. And uh, the women's. I feel that a lot of you may be from Egypt. Um, you will be from Egypt. Or, or Italy, um, I don't know, it's like, I'm getting the vibes like, something with the Egypt, something with the, also Iran, the country is Iran or something, like, I don't know, it's like a Middle East, some type of things, I'm saying, I'm being a Middle East of South Asia, South Asian countries, like Middle East or something like Iran, Dubai, UAE, um, Iraq, okay, Afghanistan, I don't know, like this, this Pakistan, you know, I don't know, it's, no, it's not in, in Middle East, by the way, it's like a Middle East, like energy, Turkey or something, Turkey or something, this is like really, like you, you are from that, the female is from that, and the, maybe from the person is that, you're definitely from di distance culture, yeah, you both have a different culture, I would say different culture and religion. Um, you are the warrior woman and this person is very gentle, very kind because they have the horse. 
they could be love or horse riding or something this person will be very very chivalrous with you like they will this person could have a lot of money they could have enough money to give you um wow this person is like all about it's like i'm always getting like uh what's their uh what's the name of that character i'm picking up like It's, it's, it's just, you know, like the person who's, who's, who's like really, I'm just forgetting the name of that character or like, it's like the person who have a lot of, I don't know, it's like, it's Aladdin or something, no Aladdin, not Aladdin, it's like Alibaba or something. There's a, there's a famous character here, like the person who has a lot of money and he just win the lotteries and he just get a lot of um, abundance and, you know, they, this person get a lot of, uh, you know, what is uh, the treasure and the, this is like a lot of uh, um, jewelry and money and like this is something like that. It's like a lottery. So this person is just like that. They, this person is like a show-off. Like it's not a show-off in the wrong way. Please don't get me wrong. They, this person wants to show you. Like you, this person, <laughs> how sweet. This person is like, um, just look at me. I'm your man. Like this person wants to be your man. And this person wants you to believe in them, to trust them. And, you know, they want to show you their good side, their romantic side. Only with you, I feel. But you will be the warrior woman. I feel like you are the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this person will be um, like a romantic sign, I would say. Water sign like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this person could be Capricorn, I'm getting. Or could be Aries. Like this is someone who is not uh, romantic. This is someone who is not gentle um, normally, okay? Um, but with you, they just want to cross every limit. They just want to show you their true side. You will break this person's heart. Um, are you the heartbreaker or this person is? But definitely I'm hearing heartbreaker. Um, this person, if this person will choose you, this person will bring, uh, this person will break a lot of women's hearts. And if you will choose this person, you will break a lot of men's hearts. And uh, vice versa, because I'm seeing that one person will be a heartbreaker for a lot of person. Your relationship with each other break a lot of people's hearts. I don't know what does this mean. Maybe this person is popular or you. But I feel like you are the more intuitive person. Look at this. How she is. The sun is like this crescent moon. So you are the more intuitive person. This is practical person. Let's see who's this person. I'm almost already. Okay. So I'm going to see from this uh, dice. That will tell more about this person. Let's see. Oh, how sweet. I'm almost getting like this person will bring a lot of flowers to you every day. And you'll lie. What do you want? <laughs> you will be closed up. You will be very skeptical, to be honest. You will be like, hmm, this person is very nice with me. Why? <laughs> you know, like, this is like, you will believe like it's too good to be true. Maybe you never experienced, I'm laughing just, okay, because this is a very light-hearted and very sweet-hearted energy. But it's not a good energy because if you're experiencing this right now, because you maybe experienced uh, toxic people in life, you never experienced true love, you never experienced people's, you maybe experienced unrequited love situations with people, okay? That's why when this person it will be real with you, you will be like, no, how it can be possible that this person is... Is, is like you will still judge this person because they will be genuine. Let me tell you, this person will be genuinely, really wanting to show you like they love you or they have, they will adore you. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Let's see about this person. Oh, wow. So we have number four. This could be for house or anything related with the four. Um, we have this Neptune and then we have this uh, Aquarius. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, Aquarius energy. This person is a non-committal. Normally, this person is non-committal. They are they're detached. They're closed off emotionally, but they want to show you the love. So with this fourth house, it's like this person believe in family, house, roots. This person has a good manners, good family. Four is also stability. So you can trust this person. This person is also very stable. I'm also getting like you're going to meet this person through your family's friends or work or around your family. So we have this um, 
Neptunian energy. It's like a fantasy. It's a dream come true for you. If I'm not wrong, this is Neptune. I, I hope so. Yes, yes, it's Neptune. And then we have the Aquarius. So this person could have Neptune in Aquarius. Or Neptune in the fourth house. Yeah, this person is a definitely ideal lover of family. I This person is very idealistic. You know, like dreamy and love. Fantasy. So you will be like, is this true love or what? This is like a very fantastic. I feel this could be someone that you, you are going to have a family or at least commitment with. With the four of with the four presents here. Nine of swords reverse here. Yeah. This is someone who will bring you out of this this um this toxic energy. Yeah. This is you up at night. This person will definitely heal you a lot of this person is definitely good for your healing. Ten of Swords, yes, yes. You experience a lot of toxicity in your life. Who look at this King of Pentacles, this daddy. I love to call this person daddy. Especially when there is a chivalry card here. So this person is a self-made person or this person is abundant fin financially. Yeah, they will take your burdens on their shoulder. And they're okay with that. They're okay to share their abundance with you. King of Pentacles, this is someone who is very... I've, I'm seeing this person will be a mature, very... They will be older than you or maybe the same age, but they will be very healthy okay like they will be athletic they will definitely work on their money and they're working on their health they really th this person really believe in fitness okay so they could be a taurus we have the moon cancer scorpio pisces five of pentacles i feel this is your energy coming in your way like you are going through right now a very toxic cycle you may be worried about your finances you may be worried about your mother you may be worried about your your family crisis and things and this person is bringing this 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 chivalry in your life you will not trust your intuition please trust your intuition about this person we have the fool aquarius energy very strong here or maybe aries so this person is like definitely it's a new journey for you it's it's like experience you need to take the risk don't be skeptical don't be just worried like too much or think a lot just jump into this take the leap of faith for this person this is like a new journey new adventure or new experience for you if this is someone out of your culture or religion, still take a leap of faith on this person. Because you will experience a lot of things with this person. Trust me. You will experience their culture. They will experience um, adventures, having fun. This person will bring you out of your, your anxiety, depression, this feeling of unworthiness, feeling of unrequited love situations that you always experience. You will be insecure, to be honest, with this person because this is your energy coming in your way, not about this person. We have the Three of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. This person has a lot of money, honey. Devil, Capricorn. This person has a lot of money. This person has a lot of money. So the, you, you, you may be going to th through meet this person through your family, through your work. Okay, this person is really believing the family and their work. Yeah. I'm seeing that almost a lot of you, you are like this. So you will be insecure about your body. Maybe your, 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 um, I'm not judging anyone, please. There's no judgment here for anyone. But you will be insecure about your body. You'll be like, you're fat, you're the, the you're the, uh, you're the plus size. Or you will be not sure about your body. You will uh, compare yourself with others. With the moon, I definitely feel like you have insecurities with the ten of swords and nine of swords. Feeling of unworthiness, feeling of, you will, be, you will be like, why this person is choosing me? They will left me in the cold because of your past experiences. So please trust your intuition. Because I feel this person is not like that. This person is very open-minded. They will accept you as you are. You will be insecure about your height. You will be insecure about your body. Something about you like you will be insecure and you will make the boundaries with this person like, no, not enough. You're not ready. Ten of Pentacles, this person believe in the family. With this King of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles, this could be someone that you're going to marry again. Yes, you're going to marry with this person or have a commitment with this person. They're here for a long run, okay? Five of Cups, this is you right now going through this experience maybe. Or you will, um, you're, definitely your past will trigger you when this person will come into your life. Because it will be, you will be like, it's too good to be true. This person definitely could be an air sign, they're like Aquarius. Or it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer. 
I am, I'm also getting cancer very strong here. And uh, it could be, maybe you are the cancer. That's why you will be very sensitive and you will be very judging and you will be the Pisces or something. You could be a water sign, like very sensitive. Or earth sign. Uh, this person could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Any earth sign, by the way. Let's see. So who is this person? Let's see. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going... This person will be like... Wow, Ace of Cups. And This person is just coming into your life to give you love. That's it. This pure, genuine love. They will be very honest with you. For some of you, this could be your secret admirer. They will like you at first. They will try to talk with you. So please don't be hesitant. This is definitely new love. This is new love. This is someone who wants to be with you. The Hierophant. And they, in the long run, this person could be committed to you, by the way. Yeah, they could be from foreign land. So let's see. Yeah, this is a new beginning for you. For you, especially my viewers. And they may be going through these issues right now. For some of you, this person could not have their mother. Are you lost your mother, maybe? There's some type of trauma that you're healing or you're trying to get over your past. From my viewers. Let's see. Yeah, you need to trust this person. You need to trust. You need to open yourself for this love that is coming in your way. Heart to heart conversation. I feel that this person really wanted to talk with you. So don't hesitate. Just talk with this person. You can trust this person. Let's see. We have true love. Romance of a lifetime. It's a scheme of reverse. So you will not believe it. That this is your true love. You will be like. Yeah, you will be like. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. So with the finances and career, you are going to meet this person through your finances and career. Or maybe this person has a lot of money. Yes. They really were they are too much focused on their finances and career, I'm hearing. This person is really free spirited with this Aquarius and Neptune. This person is really open minded. They're romantic. They're they're they have some secrets too, but they are only keep to themselves, okay? But you are the one that they're choosing. So let's see. You know, imagine Aquarius is, uh, you know, imagine Aquarius is trying to be our Taurus. You know, like some some fixed signs are trying to be commit to you. So if once they will commit to you, they will want they will commit for forever. That's what I'm hearing from this person. So let's see if you have number 35 pathway. So a lot of you, you maybe already met this person. You cross the path with this person or you're going to, you're definitely on the pathway to meet this person. It's like a transformation in your life. Five plus three is eight. It's the movement. So this person could be 35 years old or maybe you are. Okay, let's see more about this person. We have number 21, family room. So this person definitely believe in family. Yeah, you will be the add up. I'm hearing you will be the add up in this person's family. Yeah, you will be the new addition in this person's family. Like two plus one, three, and you choose the three. So definitely um, three is very important for this pile, for this group, okay? Family room. So a lot of you, maybe you're going to meet this person through family or you are going to add up in this person's family. Yes, there will be acceptance of you. They will be um, definitely accept you. So let's see what is the message for you from the spirit, from the God, from the angels for this relationship. Signs. Yeah, I feel that uh, somehow universe is guiding you toward this person. There will be a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities you will watch when you will see this person, you will see around you. That will definitely uh, give you the sign or signal toward this person. So please trust that. Yeah, I feel that universe is trying to tell you and guide you like this the way, this way. This is the person. This is the path that you need to choose. And we have meditation. Yeah, a lot of you, you maybe will not see it. That's why I'm telling you, they're telling you that you need to do meditation to bring this person in your life. We have the forgiveness, but it's came up reverse. Yeah, a lot of you, you are going through some healing right now. You're not ready for love. And this person will enter in your life. Or you need to heal properly, completely from your ex, from someone that you need to release to enter in this new love beginning in your life. Because you need to forgive someone from your past to be with this person. So let's see more about this person okay so this person could name with the q k o j and we have this um unicorn it's coming in every reading 
So this will be a magical relationship and also from the divine and God. Okay, I'm also hearing unicorn party. I don't know. What does this mean? What does it mean? You're maybe going to attend some type of ceremony in your family or friends. There will be a unicorn party. Or someone's name is unicorn or they will call you unicorn or something. So this will be like, definitely you will be not um, open to this person at first. You will be like, no, I'm not ready. I don't know what this person wants. Yeah, it's like heart glasses. Yeah, this person will then fall in love with you deeply. And you will be like, it's too good to be true. true to, to be honest, it's like a romantic fantasy for you. You will, you will, you will not believe it, almost. Let's see, what is this? We have the Elizabeth. So you maybe your name is Elizabeth or something with the Elizabeth here we have the nine of cups this is like your wish come true yeah this is like your ideal partner who always you manifested this person let me tell you we have the fix a heart yeah you need to fix a heart or this person definitely like someone need to fix a heart or someone has also drinking problem addiction that they need to heal we also have this angel heart here wing with the hearts definitely it's a blessing from the universe from the god for you and for this person it's like a, I'm also hearing blessing in a disguise. And we also have this strawberry, this heart, again, little heart. So definitely this person will open your heart for love, romance. Anything else? So we have A and we have C. We also have these two hearts. So definitely it's your soulmate. Cupid arrows, so you will fall in love. And the last one is this, this all here. So maybe this person has a very beautiful eyes or maybe this person has all. This person will keep an eye on you. This person has a lot of wisdom, knowledge. They will be mature soul. They will be old soul, I will say. This person will have a deep eyes. So a lot of you, this person could be from Asia or South Asia, like very Asian countries like Japan, China, Korea, something like that, Philippines or something like They will have a very round, uh, small eyes, okay? So this could be your reading. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.